Thanks, Kristoff. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're going to do a quick disassembly video for an easy motor. These are the tools that you would need to do the disassembly. Number two Phillips and a driver or just a hand screwdriver. A wrench to either remove the wheel from the motor or just the nuts. Snap ring tool. And you can optionally use a gear puller if you need it. Alright, so we're going to use a front easy motor to demonstrate how to disassemble the motor. Partially because it has a split side plate here. So that means that the side plate is separate from the spoke flanges. And that um, it's important to note because on the rear motors, since about 2017, when they updated the casting for the cassette version of this motor, they changed it so that the spokes flange on the drive side is actually a part of the side plate. So these screws here all hold together this spoke flange into the main body. So if you have service to be done on a post-2017 easy rear motor, you will have to delace the wheel. On the front easy motor, uh, because that side plate is separate, we can just get ahead and uh, start removing the hardware. If you want to grab your drill or hand screwdriver and remove the, the Phillips number two head screws here. Once that's done and you have the hardware off the disc side of the motor, you can simply, not simply. So if you don't have a gear puller, you can use a hard surface like a concrete floor to help tap the motor open. If you are going to use a hard concrete surface or a hammer, make sure you put the nut over the end of the axle to protect the threads. Just like that, the motor's open. You can see there's some sealant here. You'll want to replace that when you're reassembling the motor. Okay, once you've gotten the side plate popped off, you can slide it down the wire. You'll notice that you won't be able to get it off because of the connectors. If you need to service the bearing on the side plate, you'll need to also replace the connectors. So this is the motor internals. You can see, here's the hall sensor board and all the hall sensors. And here's where the phase wires come into the motor. If you've removed the nut from the uh, disc side of the motor, you should be able to just pop the motor out of the shell. Inside we can see the ring gear and the other bearing. If that needs to be serviced, you can easily pop this out and service it. Present here is the planetary gear set and the clutch. To remove the freewheel assembly, you need to remove this snap ring, which means you'll need a set of snap ring pliers. Once that's off, you may be able to pull this off, but you may also need a gear puller. This is the removed freewheel assembly and planetary gears. You can see there's a fair bit of grease, and there's also this keyway on the shaft. Once the motor is disassembled to this point, there's really not much more service that can be done. This keyway here is really important not to lose. The freewheel assembly can be serviced pretty easily. These gears can be replaced if they're damaged just by removing this snap ring. And you can also uh, replace the entire assembly as one piece. When you're reassembling the motor, it's important to use non-petroleum-based nylon compatible grease. So to reassemble the motor, you simply just reverse the disassembly process. So slide freewheel assembly back on, making sure to align the keyway with the key on the motor. Sometimes you have to rotate the gear set a little bit to make sure that it presses down nicely. And we'll slide the lock ring or snap ring back over the shaft until it snaps in place and then we'll slide the entire assembly back into the motor core. Be sure to reapply sealant to this joint to prevent water ingress. Once that 
that's all back together, don't forget to reinstall the wire protection system that's present on these easy motors. This way, if the bike falls over or you get into a crash, you're not going to damage the wire that exits the axle here. So that's it. That's the quick video for disassembling and reassembling an easy motor if you need to do service of some kind to it. We do have replacement bearings, freewheel assemblies, and connectors. Thanks for watching our easy motor disassembly video.